Challenge for like I was up until three o'clock in the morning making all this stuff up as I went along. Right. <laughs> so, so before we get going, um, not everybody in here knows me. I want to give you guys, guys a little bit of a bio on me and where I come from and who I am. I was born and raised in Sacramento. I owned restaurants in Sacramento up through 1999 when they went bankrupt, and not coincidentally, 1999 was the year that I went into real estate. And uh, my family had always been in real estate. And so in 99, I started with a great company, Coble Banker. Um, I was with them until 2002. I, I was their Fair Oaks office, little rookie of the year. Um, but, and, for, and, and a lot of people were talking about how great that was. And I, I was kind of believing all of my own marketing about how great I was too. I made Master's Club at SAR, which is five million in production in my first year. Um, but for me, it was, um, I mean, we, we had really big bills <laughs> because we had just lost our restaurants, we had a big expensive house, and so for me it was still like, I couldn't make ends meet on that. And I went out, and all, all these companies have good training, right, and I went out and because I needed some, mm -hmm. some, some training on, from people who had, who had performed at a high level, I went out and I hired a company called The Core to coach me um, in exchange for me working with them as my lender as well. Um, and my business went that my, in my first year from five million to, uh, the, sorry, my second year in uh, 2000, from five million to 11 million solely due to the fact that, and I'm not here to pitch the core and I'm not here to pitch Caldwell Banker or Keller Williams or anything like that, but what I, what I want you guys to know is the reason that I went from five to 11 in that year was because I, somebody took models and systems and put them in front of me that were bigger than what I could come up with on my own and that worked at a higher level than I ever would have used on my own. Uh, and, then, and because those models were so big, I joined Keller Williams in 2002 and I went from about, in 2002 I did like 14 million and in the next year I went to 22 and, and then from 2002 through 2011 I, I, I was bouncing around between 20 million and 26 million with, with me and two other, a full-time admin and one full-time buyer's agent. Uh, except for a brief stint in what year? When I didn't make that much. 2009? 2007. <laughs> when I was running around, uh, in, in 2007 I did like 6.5 million in volume from coming from, from having done 23 million the, the, the year before. And that freaked us all out, and we didn't get into REO, and so uh, we were we got into big short sale and all that. So that's kind, of, and, and then from there, I was tapped in 2011 to become the team leader, which is what Keller Williams calls their office manager. But really, what we do is we don't manage the office; we coach and train, and then we oversee staff who manages the office. Um, and uh, and we in the Yuba City office, which for those of you who don't know Yuba City, it's an hour north of Sacramento, up 99. And the average sale price in Yuba City right now is 159. <laughs> so gotta love it out there. That 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 office um, in uh, from 2011 to 2013 became the the biggest office out there by agent count and the number one office out there by closed volume, which is kind of how you measure a brokerage. So then we came. I came out here and became the the CEO team leader for Keller Williams of the Wine Company, and I'm really really excited to see all you guys here. This class. The reason I became a team leader is, is because of what I'm passionate about, what I care about, what really floats my boat, why I get up and come to work in the morning, why I can't wait you know, to get up and go to work in the morning. And what my mission is, is to use my passion for observation, <clears throat> education, and motivation to help as many people as possible live their greatest lives. That's my personal mission in life. I learned that mission in 2006 when I started to coach a little bit, and some of the people I was coaching had some success, and it like blew. It just, I just, I couldn't. I was, I was like wired after that, and it was what I really love. So that's why you ask why somebody who does 22, 26 million in volume would stop selling. That's why. Plus. I, I, you know, what Zig Ziglar said is, help as many people as you can in life get what they want, and you will get what you, get want. What you, get what you want. want. Yes. All right, so that's a little bit about me. 
in your handout, like a little bit of housekeeping really quick before we get going. Um, the women's and men's restroom is through the door to the left, out the front door by, of the store. And the codes for the door are up here, but you must press the enter button. I was stuck out there for like <laughs> <laughs> so, three, five, enter, five, three, enter. Uh, the Wi-Fi code here is Realtors, title case, right? Capital R, Realtors, um, with, you know, an S on the end, right? Um, we, I would really want to, the, the reason we can put this on is because Norbar allows us to rent this room for a reasonable price, which it does for all of the members, which I think is fantastic. So I really kind of consider Norbar one of our sponsors as well. But we have major sponsorship today from Vivint Solar, they're going to talk to you for just a few minutes about their product and also from Bruce Ford with, I, I'm sorry Bruce, I always have to look at the card for the company name, NorCal Quality Appraisals. Bruce is an amazing <coughs> educator and a great appraiser. He's been to our office a couple of times and it's the next, I know the next time you come will be standing room only. It was practically standing room only when you were there before because a lot of people knew you by name before you came. So really quick before we get going, Bruce, can you come up and you want to talk a little bit about what you do? And thank you guys. Give him a hand. Thank you guys so much for sponsoring us. Thank you, Roy. Good morning, everyone. Like Roy said, uh, my name is Bruce Ford. I'm a certified residential appraiser. I've been doing this for 22 years. How many people remember World Savings? Yes. 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 Mm -hmm. Right? B, C, D paper. Go to the river. About North Bay. North Bay. Yeah. <laughs> That's about right. Centennial. Yeah. <laughs> so anyway, uh, I've been doing this 22 years. I started in SoCal. I live in Petaluma, but the greatest training and the most amount of time I spent the last 10 years was with World Savings. And the reason I say that is because I really believe that the training that I received helped me be a better appraiser. So what I do is my number one Mission life is non-lender work. So what's that? Probate, bankruptcy, divorce. Believe it or not, Joanne <coughs> called me because she wants help on a pre-listing. So this Friday, I'm seeing a property that will help the buyers realize what's going on. And I also have helped Michael in the back. He had a property that had a, a terrible appraiser experience, and I was the backup who kind of like saved the deal and brought it together. So I will be available in the back. I will pass out my card. And also, addition, consider me a resource. If you get stuck, if the appraisal happens to be the roadblock that's keeping this deal from closing, call me. I can help you with the appeal. I know many of the lenders. The last four years, I was the senior <coughs> review appraiser with an AMC. Do anyone know what an AMC is? Those are the those exchanges that the lenders have to call so they can book the appraiser. So basically, I reviewed some thousand reports from Maine to Hawaii, and I spoke one-on-one -on -one with 800 appraisers. So I actually get appraisers to get off the ledge, okay? And I talk them back in the room, I talk them through the problem, I make it happen. So any questions? Go you, ahead. <laughs> so you're in a 30-day escrow, and an appraisal just doesn't come in at appraised purchase price but Correct. it comes in under in that 30 days can you actually rectify uh, yes. the situation and yes. save the deal in 30 days yes there's a process called <coughs> reconciliation of value or reconsideration of value ROV each lender has their own form and their own process some of them have it written down most don't so it's almost like you've got to like handhold it through the process but um, I can take you through to walk you through the process on what lenders expect and many of the appraisers that are called by these lenders are already on their lists. So it's not like they have a backup appeal person to come in and do that process. But Sandy, if you call me and the deal's still live, I can walk you through the process and hopefully save everything. Will they accept you if you're not on their approved list? Probably not. But what I'm gonna be able to do is coach you to say and do the right things during that appeal <coughs> process. So hopefully you can do now. You and I have seen very active market, uh, multiple offers coming in. Sometimes these offers are greater than market value, and the appraiser is stuck. stuck. And so, many times the property will come under the contract price, but 
because this multiple <coughs> offer situation, this will give you an opportunity to save the deal, possibly renegotiate with the sellers and so forth. Another question? So what are your fees? Uh, yeah, so on a typical track home, it's $400, okay. and, and then I go up from there. Um, I just, <laughs> believe it or not, on the back of my card, it gives you a little sample of what I do. I specialize in non-lender work. I actually did a prenuptial agreement for Rockstar in the Sonoma Highlands. Okay, so believe me, there's a lot of money at stake when real estate comes into play, and you want an experienced gentleman like myself who can speak out of one-on-one -on -one with the buyers and sellers, help them understand. That's part of my process is educating and help them understand, meet their expectations. Awesome. Thank you. That's great. Thanks, Bruce. Thank you. We have Jimmy Rex and Gabrielle, who you guys met when you came in, are here from Vivint Solar. They sponsored this event as well, brought all the food, took care of all the expense and everything. Jimmy, come on up and talk a little bit about Vivint Solar and what you guys are doing. There, I know there's some people in this room who are working with you right now. So. Yeah, I've worked with a couple of you. Um, Janice, how you doing? Um, so real quick, I've talked to most of you before you kind of a general idea of what we do. Um, basically, the easiest way to explain it, a 30 second pitch is, um, we provide people with all the benefits of going green and getting solar without any of the upfront cost or any of the liability of having a lease or anything like that um, uh, permanently uh, on your credit or anything else like that. So what we do is, rather than try to become a solar energy um, uh, company making money off solar, we basically are an electric, or electricity Company. We try to essentially become your new energy provider. Um, and I'm going to real quick in like 30 seconds explain how we save people money so it makes more sense, okay? There's literally zero cost. Janice, did you pay anything for the whole time that you did the entire thing? There's no cost, right? People don't believe me on that, but we don't make our money off that. So the way we make our money, real quick, on your bill, you guys in California are in what's called a tier system. Tier, you guys ever seen this on your bill? Tier one, tier two, tier three and tier four, okay? And the way it works is about the first $45 of your bill, you pay 13 and a half cents per kilowatt, okay? And then for the next $20 of your bill, you pay 15 and a half cents a kilowatt. And then after that, you get about $40 worth of tier three for 32 cents per kilowatt. And then the last tier you pay everything else, or anything above that, you pay 36 cents per kilowatt, all the way up till. So that's why your bill starts going like this once you start using too much energy. So what we've just done, our company and our genius is of why it works. We've become the second biggest residential solar provider in the country in less than three years. Um, and the reason why it's happened so fast is because we, so rather than try to sell solar or lease or whatever, what we do is we provide the solar at no cost. We can't compete with PG&E. We can't go build a new power plant and a new grid. It's already in existence, right? So what we do is we turn each house into an individual power plant for that house, and then we sell the electricity at 15 cents flat per kilowatt for the entire amount of electricity that you get. So anybody paying over $60 a month, you save money every month on your utility. That's a guarantee. We actually can't do it if you're not going to save money. Um, and the way it kind of works, if you want to get a rough idea, go home and look at your electric bill. It's broken down into electric and gas. But if you just look at the electric part of it, so let's say it's 250 bucks. If you minus about $60, so it'd be like 190, and then divide that in half, that's your savings. So you'd save 95 bucks on a $250 a month bill, your bill would be about 155 with us. That's the best way to kind of show you kind of more or less how much you'd save with us. So anyways, long story short, anybody that's interested, I'm always around, I'm trying to, I'm a Killer Williams agent in Utah as well. Um, been a realtor for almost 10 years. Love doing real estate, my team's running out there. Um, I fly home about every 10 days for like an hour and a half and run back. And, um, I flew home Sunday night, I, my plane landed at like 10.45, Ran to my mom, said happy Mother's Day for 10 minutes, and then I ran home and slept. And then I worked Monday and came back. I was back here by 2 o'clock at appointments. So it's just, that's how I live right now. It's very hectic, but it's fun. Um, if anybody's interested or you know anybody that has a higher bill, if you have an, a, an electric car, kids, a hot tub, or a pole, <laughs> yeah, throw kids in there, right? Um, 
uh, then you probably have a bill where we can save you a significant enough amount where it's going to be worth doing, take a look at. And again, we just come out, we basically measure your roof, we take a look at your bill, I can show you how the system will look on your roof, get you a drawing of it, show you your savings if it makes sense you do it, if not, no big deal. So. That's what I do. Um, that's the best way to sum up kind of awesome. how it works. Hey, really quick before, thank you again for sponsoring the event. Yeah. Yeah. Jimmy's actually going to participate in this event as well because he, he's humble, right? So he didn't tell you about himself other than he's a Keller Williams agent in Utah. Can you give us a little background on your real estate business? Uh, and then we're going to call you up in a little bit um, to participate to help you with this. Sure. Um, so last year my team won the Salt Lake Board of Realtors Real Estate Team of the Year. Um, I've got three buyer's agents, a listing agent, and two assistants that run my team back there. It's called what we call a seventh level business where I'm not functioning day to day in the business that runs without me there. Um, I was a coach for Tom Ferry before I joined the solar company. Um, you guys heard of Mike Ferry, Tom Ferry? So Tom's a, he's down in Orange County. I was a traveling speaker and coach for him. Um, and I joined in 2005, it was my first year in real estate, I joined Keller Williams. Um, and my first 12 months in the business, I closed 98 transactions. Um, and this last year, my team closed 179 transactions. So I've got a good, uh, a much better idea how to do uh, real estate than anything else in my life. But, um, but I'm trying to transition that into other aspects as well for, for long-term gains. That's why I am in the solar thing. So um, any questions you ever have on real estate, um, I've worked with a couple of you. I'm very open. Um, I try to help anybody, uh, any aspect of your business you want help with. Um, where I've been a coach and a speaker and an agent, um, I feel like I have a good feel for whatever it is you're trying to do with your business. Um, feel free to reach out to me. Um, we can sit down and go to lunch. Um, for me, it makes sense to help you. Um, you get to at least know me a little bit and go, you know what, that is somebody that I would trust to send someone to if I think they could help them or if they're looking for something. So that's where I uh, kind of come in. Awesome. Really quick before you get down. Um, Jimmy's going to be, well, raise your hand if you were at the West office for 443 when Jimmy did expired calls or FISBO calls on these speakers live. Yeah? Okay. So what did you think about it? Amazing. Amazing. Yeah? Yeah. yeah? Four phone calls, the first phone call he made an appointment after 11 no's, after the person told him they weren't interested 11 times, right? Uh, and did your listing agent actually go take that listing? Um, he went on a listing appointment, but he didn't get it. The guy oh. was pretty, yeah, yeah, but that's okay. Well, you were under some pressure there, right? He, already, he had already picked an agent. He and was picked an agent, he was going to list it the next day, yeah. yeah. But we got an appointment, I mean, it was. Yeah, so we're doing this again at the Petaluma office on North McDowell. And everybody, I know there's some non keller Williams people in here. You're welcome to come there. It's safe. We're not going <laughs> to. We're not going to. We might lock you in. No, just it's safe. Uh, he's going to be here with his phone on the speakers, making expired and FISBO calls from 11 to 12:30. I'm sorry, 11:30 to 1, um, or maybe even longer. I'm not sure. Uh, in the uh, in in our Petaluma office on North McDowell. Um, when is that? That is this coming Tuesday from 11.30 to 1. The, the meeting starts at 11. There's going to be a bunch of people in there. It's going to be standing room only. We're going to videotape it. But if you're in our company, I'm not sending you the video. You have to come or you don't get to see it. So, all right? So, uh, so definitely check that out. It's, it's going to be, uh, it's, it's really interesting, his process. I, I made a lot of money in expires and FISBOs, and this guy's 10 times better at it than me. So, there you go. Thanks, Jimmy. And, I, and I, I, don't, I don't go for broke 10 times on solar. Don't worry. I don't prep. <laughs> <laughs> now everybody's afraid of you. I'm Sorry about that. passive. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, he will not leave your doorstep <laughs> until, until you sign that contract. Yeah, right. The other thing, too, that a lot of people think about, Vivian, uh, and about the solar company is they're worried about, like, uh, liens and stuff. There's no liens on the property, right? Right. Okay, cool. All right, let's get going. I want you guys to be aware of three things in this class. This is really important. I, and at the beginning of this, I congratulated you guys, and you should, you should really congratulate yourselves on being willing to work on your business anyway. This course has been created with one focused intention to invite you to explore the possibility that as great as your life is right now, as great as your business is right now, you and your business can be so much more. And I don't care what level you're performing at right now. That's kind of the essence of this anyway, isn't it? <laughs> this journey that we're all on, this, the dash, the, the, the space between when you're born and when you die. Isn't that kind of what we're all doing? You're learning something every day. That's what's so cool about real estate, right? 
I mean, there's no deal. Ask anybody in here who's been in the business for a long time. Uh, uh, Alice, is there any deal that's the same old, same old? Yeah. Really long no. time.